The first law on the earth that all children learn in school is that of gravity. That is, what goes up must come down. Which means that if a very, very, very heavy house is thrown 400 meters in the air, it must come down. The true question is, at what speed? Ah, uh, what a beautiful day it is today. Nothing could go wrong. Oh. My. Gosh. Well, I'll be a magical fairy giraffe. You stupid penguins! Why can't you park that machine in a decent place? Come out here and fix my car, doggone it! Hey, little boy. Why do you have blood on your head? Say, where are your parents? <coughs> uh, I'd like to inform you that I am not a little boy and that blood is my hair. Now, on a lighter note, I am my own parent because I am old. That That's how old I am. Anyway, I just happened to plop down in your neighborhood. Sorry to drop in uninvited, but I just wanted to... Say thank you for letting me stay in your little neighborhood. Oh, sorry. Hey, do you have penguins? Come on, hurry up, slow pokes! Hi, I'm Billy. And to answer your question, yes, I have penguins. No, oh. no. Oh. Twenty minutes later! Well, I reckon they can introduce themselves. Gadget, why don't you start? Hello, I am Gadget, and I would be obliged to help you with any of your mechanical problems. Hi, I'm Generic Penguin. I'm Generic. Speedo, I'm fast as lightning. Do you like that? Do you like fast as lightning? Or should I be like slow as a turtle? <laughs> uh, hi. Well, I'm Big Beak. I'm really big. I've been made fun of for it, but why not? I'm awesome. I think. I hope. Well, I'm Big Beak. Nice to meet you. Hey, I have a great idea. Well, how would you guys like to go on an adventure with us in our ship? Hey guys, I'm Kenwe, the uh, penguin. Nice to make you acquaintance. Now, recent studies have shown that, well, Penguins these days just aren't appreciating life. And so I've come to ask you, do you appreciate life? If you do, then give me 50 bucks so I can give you the life energy to live in this atmosphere. That is, air. Don't you want the air, Chuck? We're not stupid, Conway. We know it's just a con. Wait! I would like to buy it. Senor? Please? Shut, Shut up. up! Affirmative, you need to shut up. Hey, now, who's this new kid on the block, eh? Who is this guy? Oh, that's Rover. 
that's a robot dog that we made. Oh, uh, that's kind of random. <laughs> Not as random as the conversation with Watersworth in episode 5, though. Well, anyway, back to business, which you ruined. I got a list of things to take care of, and you're on it. Again, I'd like to say what a wonderful day this is. Oh, this is one of the best days of my life. Oh, what a wonderful day it is. Oh, I love this day. I love it so much. Oh, absolutely nothing could go wrong on this fine, fine, fine day. Ah! Shut up. Shut up. I've had enough. But, but I'm not dead, senors. We will, we will avenge, avenge your, your fatal wound. injury. Uh, it's, it's only a flesh wound. Unfortunately, people in movies that are e that are German often personified as being evil. But now I've gotten into my professor days by teaching you a lesson. So now I'm going to do it again, but this time in an evil way. <laughs> well, are you going to respond? Uh, well, fine then. Just try and stop me. Good job, Rover. You saved us all. Affirmative, Master. Oh, is everyone okay? Huh? What? What? Oh no, is this my evil personality? <laughs> Hello, I am Professor B. You see, I have split personality disorder and, um, well... Um, my alter ego has a doctorate while I myself am simply a teacher at a college and, well, he is not very good. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> uh, the COP, please, please arrest me before Dr. Bean comes. 